Today we're going to be talking about black rice. I am going to show you two ways you can use black rice. Not only will it help to reduce hair fall or strengthen your hair, but the amount of minerals in it promotes faster hair growth. Yeah, it's going to double your hair growth guys. If this is the kind of video you feel you'll be interested in, then you keep on watching guys. hello guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time with your returning you're welcome so we're going to dive right into the video so i decided to use black rice because the main differentiating factor between the various types of rice is the presence of antioxidants black rice has abundant essential minerals like iron zinc magnesium and potassium compared to the other uh, rice we have, that's the red rice and the white rice. This makes black rice more superior than red rice and white rice. It doesn't mean that white rice or red rice are not good. They are very, very good. It's just that the black rice has more mineral contents in it compared to the red rice and the white rice. So I added about 10 grams of my black rice and now I'll be adding my clove into the uh, jar as well. Clove is actually very very good for hair growth too. It helps to minimize hair graying, it um, helps to reduce hair breakage, it helps to promote hair growth. It actually has a lot of benefits. Next we're going to be adding our mint leaf. Mint leaf is rich in menthol, which stimulates increased blood flow to the scalp and hair roots, which promotes healthy hair follicles and longer, fuller hair. We also added our rosemary, which helps to stimulate hair growth by increasing blood circulation to the hair follicles as well. It also helps to reduce scalp inflammation and pain. I also added my olive oil, which is my carrier oil. You can use any oil of your choice. I decided to add a little bit of my uh, atili oil, which is also known as local olive oil here in Nigeria. So I decided to let this infuse for a whole month. You guys are going to see what it's going to look like after a whole month here. Yeah, and this is a month later. As you guys can see, even the color has changed. That's because I allowed it infuse for a whole month. You can let it sit for at least a week, but I decided to do a month because I feel it's going to infuse uh, better. So I decided to use my wig cap to sieve out all the uh, pieces of my clove and whatever that was in it. I decided to use my wig cap. You can use your cheesecloth. You can use anything you want to use, but this is fine. So I'm going to be adding my Jamaican black castor oil. You can add any other oil you want to add into your mix or you can choose to use it just the way it is but I decided to add a little bit of my Jamaican black castor oil. You can add about 2 tablespoons. Like I said, you can add any oil of your choice. So I am also going to be adding my tea tree oil. You can use any essential oil of your choice. You can use peppermint oil. You can use lavender. You can use any oil of your choice. So I added about 10 to 15 drops. And this is what my oil is looking like. Moving on to the next method. So we're going to be using some fresh aloe vera. As you guys know, I like to use aloe vera a lot. That's because of all the benefits you can get from using aloe vera. You can choose to extract your aloe vera gel however you want. These are the two methods I do sometimes. Sometimes I just use my hand to break the aloe vera. Sometimes I just blend it. Either way, you're going to get the gel out. So yeah. As you all know, aloe vera significantly reduces the scaliness and itchiness as a result of dandruff and any other hair infection. So that's why I like to use aloe vera and also the moisture it has. 
I decided to add a little bit of lemon as well because lemon is rich in antioxidants. It has a lot of vitamins and you know citric acid which helps to strengthen your hair follicles. It helps to eliminate um, excess oil in the scalp that leads to build up and scalp flakes. It helps to prevent any adverse reaction and inflammation on the scalp. That's why I like to use lemon as well. So this is my lemon and aloe vera gel next we're going to be adding some of our black rice like we said today is all about black rice so i decided to add some black rice into my aloe vera and lemon juice like i said guys black rice has abundance of minerals that is why the color is the way it is i believe it's because of the excess uh, minerals in it that's why the color is looking darker and it's different from the remaining rice so i'll also be adding some of my mint leaf um, into the jar as well and then i'll be adding my rosemary as well give it a good mix then I'll cover it and let it sit for at least 24 hours. You can choose to let it sit for at least 6 hours but I decided to do 24 hours because I want the best out of it. So this is what it looks like after 24 hours. Yeah, I was equally surprised when I saw the color. Like I said, guys, it's because of the abundance of minerals in the black rice. That's why we're having this color. And that's why it's a lot darker than that of the red rice. I have tried red rice before. It gave me similar color, but it wasn't this uh, red. But this black rice gave me deeper red color. That's because of the amount of minerals in it. I just love love the color guys in case you're wondering if it's going to stain it actually doesn't have much um, stain it can easily go off it can easily wash off you can easily wash it off if you like so I'll be adding some of my tea tree oil as well like I said you can use any essential oil of your choice it's all up to you once you're done you're going to transfer it into your spray bottle and then you're good to go i am going to show you guys how i apply this to my hair because guys the weather is dry i believe during this hammer turn what you need is a lot of moisture your hair is actually going to need a lot of moisture what better way to treat your hair during this period than to play with um different hairsprays you know so that's why i decided to make this video for you guys so you have options on the various types of hairspray you can make during this period and this is my black rice oil i am also going to be applying it it doesn't leave any stain in case you're worried about it and also the smell is very very normal very very okay you actually do not need any fragrance but if you want to add um maybe your local fragrance that's fine but it actually doesn't have any awful smell you're good to go with this I don't know if you're like me but this weather tends to dry my hair really really bad and i do not like it that's why i decided that i am going to do uh, a whole week of intensive deep conditioning that's because in this period your hair is going to need a lot of moisture so i have videos coming up showing you guys how i deep conditioned my hair like back to back deep conditioning if you guys think you'll be interested in this video and if you guys want to know how my hair reacted to this deep conditioning then guys just subscribe to my channel just uh, like this video and also turn on my um, your notification bell to know when I upload the video because the video will be up soon bye